Mezea, I yeah. mean, coming into the season, could you have, in your wildest dreams, thought about having three TDs and, and two games to start the season off? Um, not really. I didn't really expect to play uh, throughout the season, but um, just I, I just came out prepared and ready to play. Uh, it was a tough game. We fought hard, and we showed that our offense really can make plays and throw touchdowns. So I felt like I, I'm a part of the team and just made made plays as well. And Ted, you had a huge game, um, double-digit tackles, I think three tackles for loss, uh, a strip. Um, can you talk about what that meant to you as a player coming into a, a big venue like this and, and be able to shine like that? <laughs> yeah, it meant a ton. Um, just to help the team win a game like that is huge. And, um, you know, luckily I was able to make a few plays, but, um, you know, I think we had five turnovers overall, so definitely a great team effort. Offense did their thing, special teams. So, yeah, just overall just great to get the win. Awesome, right, California. And Isaiah, last week you mentioned that you kind of blacked out when you scored your first touchdown. Yes, sir. How do you even begin to describe today's feeling after all you did today? Uh, and right now, that those first two touchdowns, um, it just felt natural. So, like, just going into this game, I, I had the mindset just knowing I'm going to score again and just show the world that um, our offense, we got a good offense. So um, it felt good. That's, what, that's how I can explain it. And Teddy, uh, not a lot of people in the nation knew all about you coming into the season. What do you think they know now? Um, I mean, uh, if they saw the game, hopefully they know. So um, excited to keep it going moving forward. Um, you know, that's going to be my standard. So. Yeah, I'm excited to keep it going. Isaiah, when you were mm. watching film on Auburn, why did you feel that you could win those one-on-one uh, battles with your quarterback, Fernando? Mm -hmm. uh, just really watching film just helps uh, helps us get prepared and just know what we got to do. Um, I just uh, I just know my job and my role on the team and is to catch the ball and make plays. So that's what that's what we did. So it felt good. Teddy, on the defense, how did you be able to get them off rhythm? Game. That to be an issue. Yeah, um, we knew their quarterback liked to run, so just containing him in the pocket, not letting him get out and you know complete those balls, um, you know outside the pocket. I think that was big for us. And then just yeah, just playing discipline. Um, you know, we had a good game plan. Coach Sermon um, had a really good game plan for us, and we just executed. Can you talk a little bit about uh, the locker room celebration, what you guys said to each other, what the staff said to each other? We were right next to you guys, so it was pretty raucous in there. Uh, it felt good. Everybody was just lit in the locker room, just yelling, re-screaming. We got Coach uh, Sermon going crazy, Coach BT going crazy, Coach Wilcox going <laughs> crazy. So it felt good. The energy was high in the locker room. Even in halftime, everybody was they had no doubt. We knew we were going to win, and that's what we did. And how special was it celebrating with the fans after the game, too? It felt great. Yeah, it felt great. Um, yeah, shout out, shout out uh, you know. Bear Nation for, mm -hmm. for coming down and supporting us. And, you know, at the end of the game, they were a lot louder than the, you know, the, all the Auburn fans. So it was, felt good. You guys are both Bay Area boys. What's it feel like to represent your program, your home region right here? It feels good. Right it feels so good. Just knowing the A3, I got the A3 one on my back. So it, it feels good. Yeah, it feels great. Um, getting the chance in my last season to come back to the Bay and, you know, play for the Bears is amazing. So, yeah, it feels amazing. All right, we'll go to Zoom with Matt Moreno from Rivals. Teddy, they uh, started to get some momentum late in the game offensively. Uh, you guys came back and were able to kind of stop them down the stretch. What was the key to, to making that happen? Yeah, um, they're a good team, so we knew they were going to uh, be resilient and fight back. But the key for us was just um, staying composed, um, not letting the momentum um, you know, kind of shift too far. And we were able to get some big turnovers late in the game, and ultimately that helped us win. All right, Joaquin Ruiz from the Daily Cal. Hey, Teddy, um, you know, defensively, when you guys are dealing in, you know, a crazy road environment, what's it mean to prevail when you guys are in the face of penalties and then also some targeting calls from officiating? Yeah, it felt good. Um, you know, a lot of those things are kind of out of our control, but we just try to control, control what we can control, and, yeah, we're able to get the job done, so it just feels really good. All right, we'll go back to Matt Moreno. Isaiah, obviously you kind of thrust yourself into kind of a key role here uh, with the receiver group, but Jonathan Brady had some nice plays today. Mm -hmm. uh, Mason had a couple of nice catches. I mean, what was it like kind of seeing the rest of that group kind of get going today? Yeah, uh, we just all feed out uh, each other's energy. So, like, we're not, we, don't, we don't ever look down on each other. We always kind of pick each other up, and then our mindset is to catch the ball. So, um, 
we we always just trying to boost each other's confidence and just go out there and play ball. All right, that'll wrap us up here. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Right, go Bears. Thanks. Yep, go Bears.